Effects of Population on Life The effects of population on life are very broad, but its effects are felt by every one of us. It can be not easy to know where to start with this topic because there are many effects that the population has on our lives, and they all vary depending on what part of the world you live in. For instance, if you live in an area where water resources are scarce, then your quality of life will likely be affected more than someone who lives in an area where water isn't as much of an issue. So let's look at some effects that population growth has had on human life so far. Effects of Population on Life in Developed Countries The population of developed countries has drastically changed the lives people live. For example, there are more cars on highways and less public transportation, which means increased pollution in these areas. Population changes the face of a city. In developed countries, it is common to see people living on top of one another in densely populated neighborhoods and buildings, but at what cost? One study has shown that density can have both positive effects as well as negative consequences for residents. For example, crime rates may be lower because there are more eyes around, or landlords do not need to provide parking spaces since they know most tenants will use public transportation instead, although this means less available space. On the other hand, overcrowding leads to higher levels of stress among families with children and increased traffic congestion where cars sit idling while waiting for an opening through which they might drive into residential areas, often leading them past shops in order to avoid large amounts. Effects of Population on Life Effects of Population on Human Life in Developing Countries The population is a factor in the quality of life for people living in developing countries. Countries like India which are already densely populated and where social inequalities create barriers to economic growth, will be severely affected by population growth if it continues at current rates. One solution on how to improve this situation would be a greater investment into family planning programs. These investments could help out-of-control populations through education about contraception options that exist and provide viable resources so they can start families when desired instead of having them occur without intentionally or responsibility. When people struggle to meet their basic needs, they can get caught in a cycle of poverty and desperation. This is compounded by the ever-growing population that we find ourselves dealing with today. Overpopulation has led many developing countries into extreme crises such as starvation and water shortages due to lack of resources for all residents not just those who are most destitute or are living at greater risk than others, in an effort to avoid any potential spoilers. You might not be able to see it on your own street corner but you will have felt its effects through rising prices at the grocery store, drought caused droughts that threaten food security worldwide, climate change leading global temperatures higher each year. These worries affect us all because overpopulated societies cannot function. Effects of Population on Urban Lifestyle The population of the world is growing exponentially, and this trend has affected urban lifestyles. Urban sprawl can be seen as a result of overpopulation because it takes up more space in order to accommodate people's needs for housing. Food production areas like farms or market gardens are pushed outwards into rural land leading to lower quality soil with less water retention capacity due to increased heat absorption. Recently, there has been a lot of discussion about how population change can have an effect on urban life. You may hear terms like urban sprawl and wonder what it means for you, like the average person in this time of rapid growth. We're here to let you know. Population changes are complex and need to be looked at from many different angles. Some people's quality of life is better while others worsens or stays unchanged depending on where they live within their city limits. With more density comes less space per home which leads those who don't want higher density living options such as condos, apartments, etc., to feel forced out by newcomers after being priced out due to high costs associated with heating slash cooling small rooms. Effects of population on life are hard to understand but we all need to work together to control these causes. Effects of population on rural lifestyle It's hard to believe that in the 21st century, a sharp spike in population is causing such havoc on rural lifestyles. The vast increase of urban development has led many people from their hometowns and into cities, with no intention of returning home anytime soon. And as more families are uprooted for good, they're forced to adapt quickly or become obsolete altogether. The population around the world is quickly increasing, and there are many consequences to this. One of these effects on rural communities has been a decline in jobs available that can support people living in those areas. As more people move away from less populated regions like farms, small towns become much quieter and emptier than before, with decreased tourism opportunities for residents who still live within them or often visit to spend their money there as well as eat at restaurants they may have had family connections to. This shift also causes economic changes locally, 
which leads to social issues such as high rates of poverty due to fewer job openings resulting in low wages while cost of living rises steadily year after year, making it hard for families struggling just enough already without the added struggle against mounting. Effects of population on life are important to know so that we can control them. Effects of population on quality of life the population of the world is continually increasing at an alarming rate. This has been observed to have negative impacts on quality of life, but this can be combated by better management and planning for future needs. The quality of life in a society is largely dictated by its population size. The more people there are, the less efficiently resources can be used to provide for each person's subsistence needs as well as their individual wants and desires. For example, when it comes to food production, one acre will produce 400 pounds of tomatoes if only four tomato plants are grown on that land or 800 pounds per acre with eight plants being planted, therefore, an increase in crop yield would lead to increased efficiency because fewer acres have been harvested while still meeting demand due time limits imposed by consumers' reactions, for example. The Shelf Life Effects of Population on Everyday Life Unless you're living in Antarctica, the chances are that population is affecting your life every day. The population has a direct effect on many aspects of our lives, such as the economy and politics, but it also affects us indirectly by influencing what we wear or even where we live. You can tell just from how heavy traffic gets during rush hour when there's an increase in people coming to work earlier than they normally would, which means more cars trying to merge onto smaller roads causing them to be backed up for miles with nowhere else to go due to lack of space on overcrowded highways. Not only does this make getting around town difficult but costs everyone time away from their families because commuting takes longer now than ever before. In order to save our planet for future generations we need to reduce the effects of population on life. Effects of population on social life. The population paradox is a theory that suggests the more people there are, the less social interaction they have with each other. This often leads to feelings of loneliness and depression because humans crave connection. The opposite has also been observed, as population density decreases, so does communication between neighbors causing isolation among them due to lack of familiarity within their environment, which can lead to depression or psychosis depending on individual differences in personality traits such as introversion versus extroversion. In essence, we cannot escape this paradoxical phenomenon. Effects of an aging population on family structure. The world is getting older. In the past, many families had at least one person in their family who was still working while others were retired or seeking work elsewhere. Nowadays, with so much automation and new technology coming out between healthcare and self-driving cars, it's not uncommon for all of a family to be on pension where they won't ever have any need for higher education as that will no longer be needed either since most jobs are automated. What does this mean? Well, first off, we're going to have fewer children because there are too few people around anymore. Still, thankfully more time spent together with grandparents taking care of kids instead, which means improved quality of life among your parents' generation leading up to an ultimately happy retirement.